Well, we're joined now by Maggie and her new owner, Casey Carlin, to hear her story. Good morning to Good morning. both of you. Maggie, it's so lovely to have you here today. So, Casey, you're 25, you yeah. live in Brighton, and it was your mum that first told you about Maggie's story. What, yeah. what did you find out? And so I fostered for the Wild at Heart Foundation and through that Maggie's picture came up and my mom saw her and was just like, we have to foster this dog. And so what do you know about her life before you came along? Um, unfortunately, not a lot. The first thing we know about her is um, that picture that you saw where she was yeah. uh, found tied to the box for surgery to have her eyes closed that it was first found. She had four bullets that were moved from her eyes. So these were uh, sort of air, air pistol bullets, weren't yeah. they? Not, not high caliber no, bullets, not, but, not the big but, ones. But, the, the pellet, but pellets, and so they, her eyes were in it as we saw there in a terrible state. Mm -hmm. and so the pellets were found within her eyes, which were causing that yeah. awful infection. They were removed, and it wasn't until you got her back here yeah. that you found the other 12, yeah. 13 pellets. Yeah, so she can, I mean, she did have 12, but one of them on the side has either come out or moved. Yeah, it was very close to the skin, but as you feel her, especially around her neck and on her chest and legs and some on the side, you can still feel them under her skin. Yeah, and so do, 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 is there any understanding of, you know, why she was shot so many times? Was she used tar as target practice? I mean, there's been a lot of people tell me a few different things, but I don't think there's any reason. No, why would you? I mean, it's unexplainable, isn't it? Well, luckily for her, a man in Lebanon saved uh, her life by taking her to Beirut to get yeah. this life-saving treatment, and then this incredible charity, Wild at Heart, brought her here. Yeah. Um, and you got in contact with the charity, saying that you could offer her a home. I think at one point she was going to be homed in a flat in London, whereas... Yeah, it was actually Roxana. Um, she rescues dogs from Lebanon, and she found her picture posted online and contacted so many charities to try and get help. And Wild at Heart um, finally answered and said, yeah, we will help her. They're an amazing bunch of people. Um, they're the sort of the London-based charity helped to reduce the global stray population yeah. through neutering projects. Their last uh, spayathon in Puerto Rico saw 3,000 dogs and cats neutered. Um, that was and, just uh, in six days and as well. That's, yeah, Imagine which is it, you know, an, an extraordinary accomplishment. But, but to find a dog in Lebanon yeah. and the, the the process of getting her back here. Yeah. Um, so once once she'd got back here, when was the first time you met her? How did I you get involved? I picked her up from the airport. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really know much about her other than that she was abused and she would be quite afraid. Um, I, but that was completely wrong because I picked her up from the airport. <laughs> Sorry, she, she can sleep. hear everybody. No, she's fine. Um, she I picked explore. her up from the airport and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. She just came, mm. she kicks her legs quite high because she's blind. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she just, she and just it is, a love bug. It is extraordinary because you think the unkindness um, yeah. of what she's witnessed at the hands of people. And yet, as you can see, she's so friendly yeah. and so forgiving, actually. Definitely. She sees with her heart. Yeah. yeah, and so um, so you thought that she'd be she'd be terrified and yeah. uh, and you know, especially after a flight and getting getting yeah. over here. But she bounded straight up to you. Yeah, she just comes and she does it with everybody. She just nuzzles into you and yeah. she demands love. She doesn't care who you are, but what, you better love her. Yeah, <laughs> with, uh, yeah. with her, obviously, Aww. because she is totally blind. Yeah. Um, when you take her home. Uh, did, you, did you have to do any preparation for her? Yeah, so I contacted a blind rescue uh, for dogs. And uh, sorry, she's getting playful now. That's um, she can play. And just to find out specifically what to do, but that all went straight out the window. You're supposed to keep them one room at a time and all this stuff, but I mean, she's, as you can see, she's no issues with confidence. And, no. <laughs> and she finds that she found her way around the house. She bumped into things yeah, a little you, bit. I mean, they do originally, but it's. It, I think that's the only way they can map out the house. Yeah. Mm. But now she's uh, she never bumps into anything and she walks completely off leads. She's brilliant. Well, she's also very popular. She's uh, <laughs> an Instagram star. I oh, think at you. Maggie the Wonder Dog is her Instagram handle. She's got lots of... How many followers has she got? It's like 30-something thousand 30 now. 30-something thousand. And this yeah. is you posting what she gets up to in her, yeah. in her daily life. It was just great because, I mean, I, everyone loves their dogs, so to be able to share pictures of your dogs yeah. and other people say, oh, it's a cute dog. Well, it's it's also, really she's, she's giving back as well because she's training as a therapy dog. Yeah, yeah. So how will that... It's transpire. hard work because she's blind, so it's, um, she gets tired easily mentally. She's doing the work, twice the work of a normal dog, um, but we're working slowly. She goes to visit a care home and she's got a favourite. Oh, sorry, I'll get teary because she's oh. probably watching, but oh. she goes to see Anne, yeah. who is her best friend, and it's so sweet, the two of them. Oh. And then she goes to the Sussex Uni and she sees all her friends there, so... 
Oh, well, look, I mean, she's she's <laughs> a remarkable dog and you're a remarkable oh, owner you. for bringing her here and, and giving her this life. She's got, you've got a husky, haven't you? Uh, Alaskan Klikai, yeah. yeah. She's a husky type. She howls all the time. And Maggie not being able to see, didn't know what to interpret that. Right. Not to interpret that, but... I mean, they're inseparable. Mm -hmm. and they just cuddle each other and they work together. Maggie brings out the confidence of Mishka with people. Yeah. And Mishka acts as her guide dog. It is extraordinary that some people have said that um, that it's um, it's cruel, um, that she should even she should be put down. Yeah. She has no quality of life. I mean, you wonder how on earth anyone can base well, an argument like that I on seeing I a know, dog that's... Exactly. But they haven't met her, those people. They've never met her. Once you meet her, you understand. Yeah. yeah she um, is absolutely amazing. She's gorgeous. Thank so you. are you. Thank you for bringing her in Thank today. You. It's really, really lovely to meet you both. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. I know. Bye, Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. So sweet.